Last game I played, I'd be winning. <laughs> and the only reason they, they come back is the interception. I'm not fucking with that shit, dude. I don't think I'm gonna see my game Okay. Mm. Sometimes you need a friend. I know. Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep you where you've been before. Uh -oh. But I can't go. Excuse me. That game, I just wasn't patient. The last few games, I'm doing interception to that game. Not no more. In Mercedes Benz Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Straight ahead, we pull the curtain on the postseason with an NFC wild card matchup different. between the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. Deep, so. It's that most wonderful time Man, of the year. All white. As we're underway, not that I was trying to wear. That's the wrong red pants. This one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. They finna get out here and hoop and say go out in that spot. Okay. He ain't gonna pay. Uh, he, he passed. Hey, that's what I said. Keep on playing. By the time you get home, you'll be out there. You keep doing what you're doing. For real. Really you keep doing what you're doing right now, you'll be out there. Doing what you're doing right now, you'll be out there. You playing for you won a couple of games. I think probably one more, and you can walk over to the entrance where you come in at, and walk towards that gate, and it'll take you straight into the city. It'll open up a whole new world for you. They must have put you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You in the city now? You can go bet on the game. So quickly all the way up at the 40 yard line. Yeah, and get, yeah, you can do that too. Because they got that going on right now. It's caught in the up. Off as they run the counter play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards yeah, dude, is the good for a first down for the Falcons. No, it ain't your team. Like when you ante up, you out there with other people. So you best to ante up early. with me and right. Shay like, like nigga. Do it right. But your best bet would be like to do that. Um, he, he says he's trying to get off work early so he can get on. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back in the 45-yard line. They did not block him. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Things 
Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was a crazy. This nigga Julio Jones catches the ball, spins in the air, and let it go. And it flies way up in the air and give a nigga time to go get it. Um, it just ain't meant to me. Look at that. That was crazy. Do talk about it to such an extent? That maybe you almost talk yourself into the turnover when you're trying to avoid it. Yeah, maybe they get a little too worried about keeping the football, and then you give it to the other team right off the bat. And look, we said it on the road. This is just a terrible, terrible start for them. It is, and now they've got to rely on their defense. Kamara there with a first down carry, but not much running. He takes it forward for only a couple. It's second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's it's super locked in. Mm. Get up. Mm. 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 On the court. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you yet. start that way, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. A very quick pass to Ridley. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And a yard at the 28-yard line. This big level, you gotta go over there. The marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now you can't see everybody. There's so many people they don't show you everybody out there until you get up on What color you got on? What neighborhood you in? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. No, I said what neighborhood? Look on the street pole. There should be signs up. There should be signs up to tell you where you at. So first and ten now from the thirty. Yeah, you're on the Wildcats. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Right, that's why I was at. We on the mark now. So much for the best laid plans and best design. That's what we're going to say. We can't team up on the front of the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. No, we ain't. Because you're too low for us to come. Don't we'll lose our ranking. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, you saw that one coming. If you hit the right trigger, it'll bring up this big old uh, L1 or, or R1. It'll bring up this thing and then let you get on the skateboard and even the scoreline. It may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. That's my fucking problem. Here. I keep trying to pass them. Pass the city. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Evans and sets him up first and goal. And that's a run that'll energize mm -hmm. an offensive line. Scramble running out and just threw the ball in. Do that big shot for Grant. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. And to give this time to the tailback. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Second and goal from the one. On second and goal, here's the option toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Good Thomas. Gear. Good close. That's it. Yeah. Tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. That's Come on, dude. there read it perfectly and an easy little touchdown toss and it has to be a sharp throw too because of where they are on the field the extra traffic things are condensed near the goal line good route by the receiver as well Lutz with the extra point and it's now a 7-0 game okay. I know what's hurting you though for real going between the two games is killing me because the speed is different. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they're able to get oh, running back ball. the ball. Yeah. To start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Oh, man, cover. Number of games. They'll look to throw. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly bent. Second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. You can go to different neighborhoods and, and uh, play too. Yeah. You can just go over to another neighborhood. Yeah, and just play games. Man, this shit is crazy. Everybody's super fast on this shit. Nothing. 
Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock here? Are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads. They don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent yeah, no type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Flushed out right. This is complete to Michael Thomas. He takes his beat. Hit the L1 on. 12 yards there and a first down. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up the first down. Here's the option. He's got the first down and move past midfield. Take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Second and six. Quickly completed to the right flat. Come on, man. I brought you up to press him, and you still let him catch the shit. With his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints yeah. now add six to their lead. Lutz to try to add the PAT. at the line. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination. Man, yeah, everything team. got kind of big. These motherfuckers just got big. Way better than mine. This defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Okay. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. him with a third and seven ahead. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch of this wild card game, and it's good for a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On 
first down. They dropped the throw. This one caught by Ridley. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. Big plays always wind up being a big theme as we get rolling in these playoffs and the defenses that can avoid giving them up. But they're the teams that tend to go far. You may not eliminate those big plays, but if you can limit them, then you've got a chance to get to the ultimate game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside oh, game. They see right through that play. defensively as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown of what's going on here this wild card weekend as we begin to roll to the upcoming Super Bowl. Come on, up. half in the turn. Feet down, no, it's incomplete. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls. And you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well. Could have been a third interception at half number one. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Great position, and it's picked up. And they'll have the football It's the speed of it. See, I can throw that pass in the other game, and you can't get to it because they don't let the dudes on that pass. Not only is that an interception, it's one of the come all the way from the other side and pick this shit up. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost him. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the back. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. Seven yards there and a first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down. Let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. They'll look to throw now on first down. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support. But in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. First and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Now the end complete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Deontay Harris. Still on the play. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and ten. Mike. 
Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. So we come upon halftime here in this NFC wild card matchup. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card battle. Fielded in the end zone. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on Here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Yeah. from his grasp. Out of the gun now on third down. This is Johnson. He's got it. Oh, he's going to have it since it. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, oh. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Three-yard line. Again, he'll drop the throw. Off to Thomas on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he it past the 50. Five catches for him in that first half, and that's number six that we just saw, and also a first down. First and ten at the 47-yard line. And it's incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield, but he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and five at the 23 yard line. Now, this time he'll look to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Yeah, you get when you play a game. Huge man. factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, "Well, why don't you cover him, double yeah. him, triple him, do what you have to do?" But sometimes they get locked into. And he's got it. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Adam 
Troutman there to make the grab. And the Saints add on to their lead. And it is now 21 to nothing. Makes the score. Saints 21. Falcons nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere. That drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? They'll look to throw here on first down. And this will be incomplete. Okay, I'm going to lose that. Second down. We saw this one in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50 50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and 10. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42 yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. His pass is intercepted. Nah, they can't beat the man. Like, come on. So that's back to back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And he'll give it here to his running back. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get oh, back to the man, line of scrimmage. It, Second and ten coming up. No game. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans. Rolling along here in the third quarter. Second and ten. He'll buy some time. Right. Oh. Man, like, like, oh, cause they, everything I do, I just had a pick, right? My dude catches it like it hits his hand, the ball go backwards, his running back catches it. And runs up wheel with the shit. Unbelievable. Look at this shit. I ain't nothing I can do. Everything I do in this game then. Bad. Like the real. Everything I done did been bad on this game right now. Like seriously, the first interception he got, Julio Jones coming down with it and throws the ball up in the air. Ain't nobody around Julio Jones. That was the crazy thing. Ain't nobody by him. Second and five, and that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And Lutz puts this one through. 
And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points. Either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to put your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show. And my goodness, another interception. Oh, we do going to an interception. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, in a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll set up a throw. Eluding the pressure right. And that's going to be incomplete. Oh, to the ball. Second down. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now this one into the hands of the tight end, Hayden Hurst. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. to throw again. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Yeah, he's he had a good drive going there, 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 but a nice recovery by the defense. He's passed few downs. He's able to knock that yeah. one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. All right, 
but they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And unable to break away. They stop him a man, few yards shy. The Falcons go for it, but it man, doesn't man work out. Covered. And the Saints will have the football back. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. With this lead and the football, things obviously looking good, but maybe, you know, you've talked about this before, maybe this is where the defense is hoping that the offense can uh. preserve that shutout that they've got going. And it has to be in the minds of the offense that they know how rare it is to get a shutout. So take care of them, protect them, take care of the ball, move it downfield, run the clock down. You don't want your defense to have to go on the field again the rest of the game. Reward them. They run it again with Kamara. And he'll get this out only to about the 33. It'll be a pickup of a couple and it leaves him. Okay, with man, three. defense. Brandon, I've got to thank this offensive line. He's got some smiles like on his face. And, oh, and I know it sounds boy. crazy, but they practice My dude, for this. I got Back good training camp, they need to be in season. situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after him, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. And a loss of three to bring up four. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. on the punt, giving just one yard on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next game. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And that was thrown on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. So second down, still 10 yards to go, ball on the 43. Chauncey Gardner Johnson with a pick. And they're taking it across midfield on the 46 yard line. Well, to be frank, CD, this is getting tough to watch. I mean, you feel for him, but six interceptions, that's at a whole new level. It's not a good level. It makes it tougher and tougher to come up with ways to try and support him. But you have to as a team because you can't just throw your quarterback aside. You're going to need him later on. But it reminds me of a time that a former defense coordinator of mine told me he was in a game where his quarterback threw seven interceptions. So after the 6-1, one, one of the defensive players went to the quarterback and said, here's what you do. Throw the ball to the other team, and let's see if our receivers can pick it off and turn it into, into a completion. That's just mean. I don't know that I'd go down there and say that to him right now. Probably pretty <laughs> fragile. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Well, 
The Saints on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time they face a third and two. He's going to loft one deep left side here. That's going to be caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. But look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had to fight and claw to win that division. But they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game. A message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. They are, to be frank, in yeah. desperation mode now as they begin with a first and 10. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Gain of a yard. Brings up second and nine. Second and nine now. He's going to let it fly. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get him. A heavy rush and down he goes. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see a totally divided effort. Hands on hips. Hands low. <laughs> It's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been where, where you play it in the rec or pro am? Because now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they shoot a three from half court. So they all got offensive threats. Yeah. The body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on yeah, so you, He trying to get in here. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Caught on the right side by Jones. But they're All right. going He'll go down well short of a first. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Yeah. That shit is crazy. What's up? Hold on, sir. So Yeah, but that out in the park, that dribble 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 shit whack. That shit is trash. And they take a knee. Yeah. Right. See, the, the dudes we created are basically like real NBA players. My dude a 93, but he ain't no 99 speed. He ain't got 99 handles, 99 shot, you know. He a basic public. He a, a shot creator, a playmaker, shot creator, something like that. He a point. See, I ain't know nothing about the bill. <laughs> 